first we're going to ask Eric Berglund to address you. He is from the Alternative for Sweden party, which is the new nationalist party in Sweden, which was launched at the beginning of 2018. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Eric to speak to you, and he'll be followed by Gustav Kasselrand, Kasselstrand, who is the co-founder of the party. And so with, without any further ado, I'm just going to hand you over to them. Thank you very much. Well, my name is, just like you said, Eric Bergen, and can I begin by expressing my gratitude for the invitation and for your hospitality. This truly is a magnificent hotel, and it's an honour to be able to address you today. I'm not going to speak about Brexit, but I'd like to mention briefly that as I watch the abuse that you patriots take for standing up for your freedom and your country, I am reminded of that story about the first Irishman that came to America. And as he walked across the streets of New York, he became witness to a street fight. And he walked over and he said, is this a private brawl or can anyone join? <laughs> That's how I feel. Like, I'd really love to jump in and join you, but I feel like, just like it's up to us Swedes to save Sweden, it is your fight for Britain, and I am confident you will win it. Rest assured, you will win that fight. And and I also believe that Brexit is going to be a success, a great success, but it's also going to be followed by much greater issues which you have to handle regarding who is going to live in Britain onward and so on and so forth. So I think the gods are smiling upon you and as it might be tough right now, you will be successful just like we will be in Sweden. Now, I think Enoch Powell began his famous speech with a quote, the supreme function of statesmanship is to provide against preventable evils. And I think we can all agree that not very much was prevented over the last 80 years. We're in a big mess and it's time for something new, for new leaders to take us all out of this mess. For it is basically the same mess all over the Western world. We share a history and we share today's present history and we will share whatever fate we choose. And I cannot, I cannot stress enough that I think we must choose our fate. Our fate will not be thrown upon us by anyone but ourselves. And that's why I'm so optimistic, even if times right now are tough. And it was 10 years ago I got to know Gustav Kasselstrand, who's going to address you after me. And what began with a conversation evolved into a podcast with over 130 episodes and millions of listenings and that in evolved into a party which is now called Alternative for Sweden. And my background is in the Conservative Party and Gustav's background is in the still somewhat Conservative Party, the Sweden Democrats, but unfortunately we both became increasingly frustrated over 10 years ago with the simple fact that we play the same leftist game of defense which we are bound to lose. That strategy has never worked anywhere in the Western world for any country or for anyone who believes in our cause of freedom and of prosperous free nation states. And so, we were increasingly frustrated and tired of this. And since I had lived in Austria for quite a few years, I was inspired by their Freedom Party, which is somewhat to the left of where I'm standing in economic terms, but they have a very brash and fresh approach to Marxism, which is it's evil and we have to fight it every day and there can be no compromise whatsoever. So where I, whereas I left the Conservative Party 10 years ago, Gustav left the Sweden Democrats roughly five years ago. And it was to bring this new and fresh 
offensive spirit for a new force which we believe was the way forward to take back our country for the Swedish people because that is the main thing we're about. Sweden belongs to the Swedish people, not to anybody else and certainly not to the European Union. We too <coughs> applaud Brexit and we say now it's time for Swexit. And we have embarked on a very successful journey. We have had the chance of taking part in two elections. And in the first one we won 20,000 votes, even though we were ignored by the media from day one. And we managed to win just as many votes in the European election this year, which meant that we increased our vote, as, if you look upon it, as a percentage. And so, without further ado, I would like to give way to Gustav, but I, I would like to end with this quote, which I picked up from the Conservative Political Action Conference in America, uh, where Ralph Reed said the following about the new attitude that has to be the mantra for everybody who believes in our righteous cause. And he said, we have a message for those so-called profiles in cowardice who lack the courage to stand and fight. We're tired of those who cave under pressure from the liberal left and the media and always fail to oppose their agenda. And the message is, for those who display the backbone of a chocolate delay, who cave the moment that criticize, that we are really done following you. We are done following those who counsel the cold seduction of surrender. We will not follow you anymore. We are sick and tired of those who offer capitulation masquerading as compromise. We will not follow you any longer. From this day and beyond, we are no longer going to follow lukewarm so-called leaders anymore. They have their, their God is their ambition, their idol is power, and they seek only the approval of the people who oppose every one of our core values. We must stop believing that these people stand for anything that is good for us and our cause. And they will never ever soil their hands with the sacred stuff of principle. We are done following you. And that is my main message. We must start opposing fake conservatives wherever they show up. We must say to them, you are not a leader. You are just a guy taking a walk. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.